What's up, Japanese baseball betters? This is Cesar with Japanese Baseball TV, and I have one pick today for September 23rd in Japan. It is September 22nd, Sunday night in Arizona. This game is going to start at 2 p.m. Monday afternoon in Japan, which is 10 p.m. Uh, Sunday night in Arizona. So yesterday we went one and one, and one of the games was canceled. Um, so today I have one pick. Uh, I'm going to bet a little more on it than I normally do. Uh, we have a super elite pitcher going on the mound today. So today's game is going to be the Chunichi Dragons and the Hiroshima Carp. First of all, let's take a look at the standings right now. You can see here that Hiroshima is in third. And Chunichi is in fourth, and they are separated by one and a half games. Uh, so this is a tight race. It's going down to the wire. Chunichi has six games left. Hiroshima only has two. So Chunichi is desperate for a win, which is why they're put they're pulling their biggest ace out today. They really need this game. If they win this game, they can cut uh, Hiroshima's uh, lead uh, for a playoff spot to a half game. So Chunichi is going to be out firing today. Um, run production. You can see that Hiroshima has a slight advantage in run production, 586 to 540. So they have 46 more runs uh, in four more games. So yes, uh, Hiroshima's bats are a little bit better than Chunichi's bats. I'll just tell you straight up, we're picking Chunichi money line today for this game. Chunichi Dragons money line, the odds were minus 135, which is a 1.74 in decimal. So I'll tell you why I'm choosing Chunichi for today's game. Again, this is going to start at 2 p.m. on Monday, Japan time, which is 10 p.m. Arizona time, Sunday night. That's about four and a half hours from right now. Uh, yesterday, this, get, this game was scheduled to be played in Hiroshima. Uh, rain, it rained all over Japan last night and this morning, so uh, this game was canceled. Uh, Hiroshima was going to put out Oseda, which is their absolute ace, but they have changed their starter to Nagakawa. And Nagakawa is uh, an older guy. He's uh, an older guy, and he's actually a, a closer. So... I'm not sure if they expect him to last a few innings or if they're going to treat him as an opener and put Oseda in after he pitches a couple innings. I'm really not sure what their plan is here. And Nagakawa has not pitched this year yet. He has zero innings pitched. And he's, uh, he's an older guy. He was born in 1980, uh, which makes him, what, 39 years old. So he's an older guy. Um... For baseball standards at least. So let's take a look at his career. Again, uh, you can see here's the save category. Here you can see he was a saver. He was a he was a, a closer in these years up to 2009. And since then he's pitched 11, 22, 35, 55, 26 innings with uh, limited success. So I do not have faith in Nagakawa at all, especially as he's approaching 40 years old and being placed in a starter role, which I've never actually seen him start before. Chunichi is putting out Ono, who, as if you've listened to my videos in the past, you've heard that I put Japanese pitchers into four categories. Category one is super elite. Category two is elite. Uh, there's about four guys in category one, there's about 12 guys in category two, and then category three is above average, which is probably about 40, 50 guys in that category. And then category four is who cares. Uh, ono is in category one super elite. He's one of the four pitchers in Japan that you can absolutely rely on. Uh, if you don't know what I mean, let's take a look. So this season he's pitched 166 innings, he has 23 starts. 17 of them are quality. Uh, his whip is 1.0. His strikeout rate is 8.05. So these are super elite numbers. In his last six, he's gone 7, 7, 2, 7, 7, 8, 1 in nine innings. He's given up 0, 0, 2, 3, 2, 0. So he's only given up three innings once in his last six starts, and he goes at least seven innings every start. Um, how does he do against Hiroshima? 
Hiroshima. He has a 2-2-5 ERA, 36 innings. He's given up nine runs. He's walked only five in 36 innings. He walks one guy every five innings. Uh, he has a strikeout rate of 8-5, which is a little bit higher than his average. And so, yeah, he does quite well against Hiroshima so far this season. So we're taking Chunichi Moneyline. Um, this is a tight playoff race game. Uh, Hiroshima, for some odd reason, is putting uh, an ex-closer from eight years ago as their starter. Uh, yeah, Nagakawa had been stuff about eight years ago. Uh, since then, he hasn't pitched. He hasn't started, and he hasn't pitched more than 20 innings, uh, more than 50 innings in a season. I really don't understand this move. Um, Chunichi, they are clawing. They're very desperate to get that third and final playoff spot. I think Chunichi is going to come out with a bang. And, uh, as I, I haven't shown you, but Chunichi's last game they played, they scored 14 runs against Yakult. So they're coming out blazing. Uh, Hiroshima, they've averaged two runs in their last two games. So uh, despite the uh, lineup discrepancies, I think Chunichi, I'll give Chunichi's lineup the, the advantage. I'll give their starting pitching the advantage. And also Chunichi has a better bullpen than Hiroshima as well. Hiroshima's bullpen is suspect. They've been blowing saves left and right, uh, which is opening the door for Chunichi to come in and grab this game. So take Chunichi money line today. Uh, follow me on Twitter at JP Baseball TV. Uh, I gave out this pick, I think, about an hour ago, and I give out three or four picks uh, a week more on my Twitter than I do on YouTube, just because it's easier to tweet than to make a video. Anyway, our record is 50 and 29. So uh, let's get 51 today. Good luck with your bets, guys, and I will be back with a video soon. Thank you.